So you guys are probably wondering, what qualifications does this 15-year-old have to speak in front of you guys today? Is it because he has this tragic life-changing story that he wants to share with us? Or he found the cure to cancer at age 10? Or maybe he won a Nobel Peace Prize? I hate to break it to you, but I didn't do any one of those things. I am just a normal teen like most of you guys in front of me today. Growing up, I always liked watching movies. Comedy, action, thrillers, everything. It had a play button, I watched it. Most of the time, tragic movies would end with a protagonist dying, or the action movies having a protagonist save the day. But I always had this question, what if it didn't go as planned? What if the protagonist didn't lose his job and didn't end up saving the day? What if the ship didn't sink and everyone made it out alive? If you guys were wondering where these scenarios came from, you are English and Titanic. Coming back to my point, I never really understood why the things that happened to me happened. I didn't understand why the things that happened to me were not only coincidences, but were fate. I can still remember the day that it was yesterday. I was playing basketball with some of my, with some of my friends in AV court. To us, it was a normal summer day. At least, that's what we felt. It wasn't until hours later that our game was interrupted by a large boom. Now, this boom wasn't the sound of a ball bouncing or a backward creaking. It was the sound of a huge mushroom cloud that hovered over our heads. Now, us being the 12 year olds that we were, we thought, we're all gonna die, they wanna kill us. Turns out we're not so important. It was short after that my mom, along with so many other parents and Lebanese citizens, decided to leave the country. To my amazing luck, it was, to my amazing luck, after Lebanon was at its worst point possible, it became even worse with the coronavirus spreading uncontrollably again for the I don't know how many more times. Now, my mom being overprotective and doing what was best for me in this situation, we stay outside of Lebanon for about 10 years a month. And then suicide, at least. And then it became the, the, the end of Christmas break, and then the end of the year. While being away from my friends, family, and my home, it was hard for me to adapt. The only comfort I conformed to was food. Because who doesn't like to watch a movie and enjoy it at the snack, right? Or play video games with friends online and reward yourself with some delicious food. Now, I'm not hearing on food, don't get me wrong. But eventually, I reached a stage in my life where food became my own comfort, my own joy. While everyone I knew was in Lebanon, I was abroad. I felt disconnected. Eventually, after time, I reached a lonely period of my life. At that time, I didn't feel lonely because the food always had a way to my mind. But eventually, I felt the loneliness get stronger by the day. It came to an extent where the highlight of my day was when I played video games with my friends online. As I said, I felt disconnected. But no one who feels disconnected actually feels disconnected. We try to cope with other things. With every night that I played with my friends, I felt more and more disconnected by the day. It eventually, it, it eventually started with late night snacks, to meals, to always sleep food. Soon after the year passed and I finally came back to Lebanon, it was time for my 8th grade graduation ceremony. Seeing my family and friends for the first time in a long time was weird. Everything felt different to me. It was after I came back to Lebanon that I realized that my, that my comfort with food was something to affect my health. When I was away, I had my routine. Finish school, come back home, get something to eat, and get ready to play. When I came back to Lebanon, I tried doing the same thing. Finish school, come back home, get something to eat, and get ready to play. But with who, right? Corona started coming to a decrease and everyone started living a normal life again but I was still stuck in my everlasting hunger pains. Now, when I came back to Lebanon, everything had changed, even me. I was no longer the same 12 year old that left Lebanon, and my friends were no longer the same 12 year olds that I recognized. Now, I am the 13 year old Brian that left Lebanon and came back, and my friends are the same 13 year olds that had infant sleepovers in Lebanon. Now, when a movie like this, this is where the protagonist reaches its lowest. This is where the protagonist makes a huge change and saves the day. With help of the side characters, of course. The movie won't be the same without them. When I came back to Lebanon, I was never alone. I always forget to mention that part. You see, because when I was alone, I always had the same group of friends that never accepted me from plans. Whether it was as simple as having lunch outside or watching a movie. They never let me go back to a point where I had to go back, where I had to go back to my own comfort zone. The isolation of being abroad was what pushed me to find comfort in food. I wanted to fill the void left from leaving my old life with it. 
When I came back to Lebanon, I felt like that void had finally started to close, all because I had people helping me fill it with something other than food. Okay, good. I'm now almost 14, and I was still unhealthy. My family was still with me, my friends were still with me, and my unhealthy body was still with me. So what changed? The change was something gradual. The more I went out, the more I did sports, the more support I received from my friends, the more motivation I had to lose weight. Okay, I am now 14. I have lost 10 kilos since I came back to Lebanon, and my friends still love me. I am now 15. I have lost 20 kilos since I came back to Lebanon, and my friends still love me. I came here today not to stress on my own downfalls, but on my journey. If there is one thing I want you guys to learn today, is that everything happens for a reason. I don't know what type of person I would have been without these incidents in my life. I don't know why the things that happened to me happened, but what I do know is that the things that happened to me happened to highlight another important aspect of my life. For me, it was my friends. For you, it could be something different. I always thought that the things that happened to me were just coincidences, not fate. Not left out and farther from the truth. You see, because what if your movie was so perfect? What if you had no mishaps? How would your movie look like? That is because there is no such thing. Every movie has an outcome, and every protagonist has a downfall, but a movie becomes a movie when everything goes downhill and you come back even stronger. So today, before I leave, I want you guys to make sure to watch your movie with the right people. Because the people are what makes a movie better. Bye -bye.